keto? Is it good for the brain? Is it good for the gut? Is it good for your mind? Well, the answer is... Let's take a look at these news stories. So news about keto diet and Alzheimer's. If you're not familiar with the term, Alzheimer is a neurodegenerative disease where you have problems with memory, short-term and and sometimes long-term memory as well. It is where you can forget things very easily that you've known for years and years. So keto diet found a slow early stages of Alzheimer's disease in mice. So once they test it out on the mice, then they start testing it out on humans as well. But a keto diet delays Alzheimer's memory loss. So these are two different articles right here. Let's see if there are any more. Keto diet could delay pre-Alzheimer's memory decline. Let's look at a couple more. Also in the news, research suggests a high fat diet may slow the progression of alzheimer's and uc davis says keto diet slows early stages of alzheimer's disease in mice so let's look at that first one medical express little ad about cars here but says keto diet found to slow early stages of alzheimer's disease in mice now naturally if it works in mice it could work in people but we don't know for sure So a new study from researchers at University of California, Davis, shows the ketogenic diet or keto diet significantly delays the earliest stages of Alzheimer's related memory loss in mice. So this is great for mice, but of course, we've got to do more testing on people. The ketogenic diet is low carbohydrate, high fat and moderate protein. So you want to have the bulk of your calories coming in from fat but not bad fats good fats like avocado and eggs and that sort of thing Um, and we can you can definitely look at the link above the video that you're currently watching and there'll be a little thing scrolling by at the top a little uh, bookmark saying this is the video on what food you can eat on the keto diet so we'll have a link to that up above here but uh, it basically is about burning fat instead of by using ketones for energy that is the the whole point of the keto diet is to get those ketones going, meaning that you need to get rid of the sugar and the carbohydrates in your body so that it doesn't burn that for energy and instead burns fat, which means that you can lose weight and you can have higher energy levels. And of course, if you're struggling like I am with diabetes, then this gets rid of a lot of that excess glucose and lowers your blood sugar levels. Mine is down in the 100s for the first time in a long time. And that's thanks to blood sugar blaster and also to this keto diet. So slowing Alzheimer's, basically there's a lot of research here, but early memory decline that would have happened doesn't seem to happen in these mice as if they are on the ketogenic diet. And on these tests, then there's some mice that are on the keto diet and some that aren't on the keto diet and they test the difference. And that's how they can tell that there's about a 13% that's what it said up here, 13% longer lifespan, and that um, they also were doing better on their uh, Alzheimer's disease. So not having it and not getting it. So we observed different things, other cognitive improvements. This is worth mentioning here. Researchers found out that the ketogenic diet mice exhibited significant increase in the biochemical pathways related to memory function. So there's been a huge connection between gut health and memory and brain health essentially and uh, this just goes to show that this is another one of those researches that shows that if you've got a healthy gut if you've got everything going on nutritionally then your brain is going to be healthy as well and they said that this could be really interesting if it translates to humans the way that they're expecting uh, females uh, bearing the apoe4 gene variant are significantly at higher risk of alzheimer's uh, according to this researcher Corto Passi. And so um, they're optimistic about the potential health impact, uh, healthy aging, and plans to delve further into the subject with future studies. Originally, the keto diet was designed for kids with epilepsy, or that's really how it was discovered, I guess would be the better way to say it, but it was used in that treatment. And that just goes to show that, again, having the right diet will also improve brain function and can help prevent neurodegenerative diseases. And again, this information comes from the University of California at Davis. So if you or a family member might be at risk for Alzheimer's or any of that kind of thing, as you're starting to get a little older, then it is a good idea to try out the keto diet. I have a link down below for the following things. I've got a free book for you, The Five Myths About Keto, 
in the five common myths really about keto. That'll be a free book. There's no opt-in. There's no sending me your email. There's no paying for shipping. It's just a free a digital book. So I've got the download link down there. And then also there is a link to the course at ketoempire.club. That is going to be a place where it is a thing that you can purchase for under $10, some guides to starting the keto. It's basically about 200 pages or so. So you can grab that down there. The link to that is down below. And both of those um, support the channel if you want to go there and do that. And of course, as always, Michael at supermikesupplements.com, you can get Keto 5, which helps you release ketones in your body as well to burn fat. So those are a bunch of things that I can do for you and hopefully you live longer and have a healthy brain and a, a healthy body for the rest of your life, uh, you know, right up until it doesn't for whatever reason, uh, you know, just die really, really healthy. So anyway, that'll hopefully be a long way away anyway. And uh, so I encourage you to put a lot of life into those years, add years to your life, make sure that you live a good life, happy life. That's going to be important. Alrighty. So like uh, this video, for, don't forget to click the subscribe button while you're down there, clicking on those other links so that you can go to those other places. And I will see you guys in the next video.